so the live demo um, is always awesome. Let's um, just to show you what's going on here. I've got two different terminal windows. The first is SSHing into the Linux box that is connected up to this SDR. And then the second um, terminal window here is connected up to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and run the post script here. And I'm giving it a dash S1, which tells it I'm using an Edis SDR. And then I'm on the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to open up the Python script for the XFIL radio. And they're both just sitting there. And if I don't want to do anything, I just want to keep all of these uh, default values the same, the frequency, the modulation scheme, and what have you. I can just hit the C button, which just sends the configuration. And that just transmits the configuration I want to use over to the Raspberry Pi, who then receives this command. And you can see these kind of raw data bytes here. And then it says, OK, you want me to transmit this way. And that's just kind of a little debug information that sends you, uh, that kind of shows you what's going on. And then on the host side, you can see that we re can reconfigured to a receiver, and we got this little string of text back. So. That's a good sign. And you were just you put that text in just to kind of demonstrate sending data back and forth, but also it's a good key indicator to you that it's actually working, that you can actually yes. see the beginning of Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe coming through, right? Yes, exactly. And it's open source at this point. He's been dead long enough. And so <laughs> may he rest in peace. Um, yep. And so, um, yeah, uh, this is just a way it's going to send out a snippet every so often of, uh, of this poem every time it gets a query. So... The next thing I wanted to do, though, because um, all I did was just use a transmitter in default mode at that point, nothing really particularly impressive about that, but I want to change my frequency, um, which right now is 912.5 megahertz. Oh, wow, that's a that's a bug. That's That should just say hertz. Um, I'm not actually transmitting it terahertz here. But anyway, um, <laughs> let's go ahead. It's funny how as many times I've done this, I never noticed that. Um, so. And you now have cancer. All right, <laughs> great demo. Um, I wouldn't get cancer. I'd just kind of get a Bruce Banner scenario, I think. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hit F, which is going to allow me to change the frequency. And that's, I'm at 9, 12 and a half. I'm going to go to 9, 13 point, I don't know, 400, 1, 2, 3. And so now you can see this has changed to 9, 13.4 for the frequency. And if I go ahead and hit the C button now, What's happened is the Raspberry Pi is being told, okay, go at 913.4 now. And so I have sort of flexibly gotten the Pi to send me the next line of the poem at a different frequency. So what happens basically is you're on one set of frequencies and then you tell the receiver on the other end, hey, we're switching. And then it switches up to that yep. or down, whatever, whichever way yeah. you go. Now we're on a completely different frequency at that point. Completely different. And if we want to go at another level to really hose with the people trying to figure out what's going on, we can go ahead and hit the M button. And by default, the modulation scheme is one, um, which means it's a simple OK modulation, just on off keying for ones mm -hmm. and zeros. But I'm going to go ahead and change it to three to do an FSK modulation. And so when I hit the C command now, what's going to happen is I'm telling the um, hack RF, okay, use mod scheme three. Um, and so when the data comes back, what is happening is it is giving me the next line of the poem, but now I've got a different frequency that I started out with and I've also got a different modulation scheme. So this is great for the class because this allows you to step through multiple different frequencies, different modulation schemes, so the students can kind of get a different view of all yeah. these different things and what they actually look like, correct? Yes. Cool. Now this is... Yeah. Now, this isn't something we do at the Black Hat training. This is something we do in my fourth class that uh, goes into Python uh, API kind of building applications with that stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, we handle all this stuff there. Very cool. All right. So anything else in the demo? Because this looked like a really nice, clean run. Yeah, it was. Um, I don't know what happened the last time, but I'm not going to ask any questions. Um, hey. But no, yeah, I, I think this is good. Gremlins. All right. Well, thanks. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Thank we you. Can edit awesome. it, there. Hey, it worked. Woo! So that's good. Mm -hmm.